Hey, brothers and sisters, what's up? This is the Reluctant Navi back again. And um, let me just greet everybody real quick. Reward and hard do dog. All the way to the bank. Fosses, los, wounds, you miss me. Keto, bawini, kunichi, wa. Ni hao, ni ama. Sani, bonani, jambo, habaragani. Assalamu alaikum, shalom. All right. And um, so they got a new Star Wars movie coming out. And right off the bat, we know it all sucks because of um, the reviews that are coming from around the rest of the part of the world. There are people that saw early screenings and say it sucks. Why? Because it maintains the same problems it's always had. That it has utterly disrespected um, their core audience, which is primarily men, primarily Caucasian men at that. All right. And then they try to force an agenda down the throats of said Caucasian men and their families. And the agenda is that you are not significant. You are not important to the family. This is what we're teaching your sons and daughters in school. As a matter of fact, this is why a lot of sons are having so many problems. This is why certain negative rates have gone up amongst children. Because most um, children are being raised in Smurf household. If you want to know what that means, that means they lack fathers. And not by the choice of men, mind you. All right. And this is something we are starting to really, really understand. All right. And so one of the things that they do is they come and redefine terms. They take something that was created by men and spit in the face of the creators and say, okay, I know somebody created this, but um, we're going to canonize this and say, wait a minute, that word canon should be very familiar to uh, many of you. All right. And the reason why it should be familiar is because that's what they, that's exactly what they did to our spiritual book, which we now know as the Bible. They rewrote it, recopied it. They gave you a new false narrative, which they called the New Testament. And even within that, it's so false that there are more copies of the New Testament than there are words in the entire Bible. All right. Um, some Jehovah's Witnesses came by my house and they were trying to leave. And I kept talking to them, trying to uh, get them to understand some things. But they weren't trying to understand and one guy, she tried to pull rank, but I was like, look, we civilians now, and that crap don't mean nothing to me. He's like, I retired as a sergeant major. I don't care, right? And I don't have any respect for any military rank anymore, given um, the how what it turn, turned into um, during the Obama administration. Turned into a very wicked thing, and I've seen it with my own eyes. So forgive me if Disney takes somebody else's work and say, we're going to canonize something else. And the same thing that people have been reading, they say, well, that's no longer canon. Right? So my question is to the men. Why do you care what Disney determines was canon or not? They're, 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 they, the Disney did not create none of this thing. If Disney is putting out putting it out then disney version is not the true canon all right like the aesop fables and the grimm's fairy tales you know the snow white yeah they actually cut their foot off to try to get it in the shoe there was a sense of morality in all of the um stories which is lost when disney bought out the grimm's fairy tales and turned it into the junk and garbage that you have now that uh, took away all the moral lessons of the original stories and gave you entertainment to the girls where they say, well, everybody has a prince coming no matter what they do. All right. And this is my point. We need to squash that canon stuff and determine as fans of a medium what's canon or not. Screw the writers. The writers write what they want. 
So how do you take power away from writers that destroy what we originally like? Well, we don't let them define what's canon or not. We don't let them define things by their terms, especially if it's not their original piece. Now, if it's their original piece, well, we go to them. What I notice in fans is they usually go to George Lucas to find out what his thoughts were, and he can't stand what they did to Star Wars. Right? So next time you see somebody say, well, this is a video and this is canon according to Disney, that means it's non-canon. It can't be canon. Anything Disney puts out cannot be canon. Because they robbed from everybody else. They reworked it to make it entertainment to the most amount of people as possible. And they stripped it of every moral lesson that's in there. So, Star Wars, the canon should be about the moral lessons between, well, the Dark Force users and the Light Force users. That's all gone now. Father and son, that's all gone now. Because, you know, men don't matter. All right? Now, before I get lost in this, let me remind y'all. Let's get those thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. When you subscribe, click the notification bell. Um, to donate, my PayPal me will be in the description box. I'm making another trip in January because um, some of the balls didn't come in and some of the children didn't get any. So I have to go back. I don't have to go back, but I'm going back because they need to see Afro men care. And so I'm going back and I ordered some more balls. So for those that can help me, help me make this trip, I most appreciate it. And um, this channel is going to sponsor the judo team also. Bunch of wonderful children. All right. So if you want to see what's going on, check out my Facebook. I'm going to put some pictures up over it on there. There are some already. All right. So that's what's going on. So if you'd like to help in this, you know, y'all know what to do. All right. Um, and for those of you that have donated and would like for me to send you some stuff, because I brought some stuff back from Brazil, um, some keychains and stuff, if you would like one, um, send to my email, not to my messenger. Send to my email your address so that I can and put address in the subject line so that I can find you and send you the stuff. All right. The rest of the fellas that's getting what was coming to them, uh, I'm going to have to call y'all because I was trying to mail things off before I left and then, you know, I forgot some things. So y'all help me out. Okay. So with that said, let's get back to the issue at hand. All right, so let's get this breakdown real quick. Part of the problem is the fans should determine what's canon or not when the people that are trying to say that nothing else matters but what they put out are not the creators. Disney is not the creator of Star Wars. It's not the writers or anything. They hired a bunch of writers to take somebody else's creation and destroy it. All right? They don't get to tell us what's canon or not. All right. Just like the Bible. All right. I am sick and tired of um, Christians trying to tell us which Bible is canon, especially if you're an Afro person, because you have nothing to do with the writing of it. All right. And you're trying to tell us to take on face somebody else's garbage. All right. That's the problem with this canon stuff. People want, uh, want us to believe somebody else's interpretation of things instead of us um, going back and seeing what we make of the original source. The original source of, let's say, spirituality for Afro people is the Old Testament and that only. So the Romans wrote a new, new book to get us to stray away from it, like Disney wrote um, narratives to new mu movies, right? Uh, there's a parallel here. And then they warped in these new movies 
the whole subject matter of the old movies, the battle between good and evil, is good all the way good and is evil all the way evil. What is balance in the force? A lot of that stuff. All right, the good guys made some mistakes. They they erred in judgment out of fear, which they said they was going. You know, there, it, it was a it's a deep, significant story. They shallowed it out and say, no men, we're going to damage this. We're going to make all men look like fools, and we're going to like make all the females look like well intelligent geniuses that never make mistakes and learn things instantly which couldn't be further from the truth. And it's dishonest. And so they have a bunch of children watching this, so they taught, they're they trying to teach the girls they're all super girls, and the boys that they're all idiots. That's the message that a lot of families are getting from Disney's rework of a lot of these movies. See what I'm saying? So who are they to determine what's canon? When nothing that they own is of their own, with the exception of Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and all of that. But all the fairy tales, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, and stuff like that. Grimm's tales that they, Aesop fables, which they stripped of the moral story. And now you got the garbage fantasy land that so many females look forward to. All right. And then, in this thing, even in everything that they do, it looks ridiculous. They couldn't even get real trained people to help train somebody to do something that looks so ridiculous. All right? We had good action scenes, but then... They made those things where make the male look like idiots and traitors. You see what I'm saying? And so when you got, as they say, a Mary Sue, a Supergirl,
that can do no wrong, that learns to fight better than the men, all of them, instantly, then you know you have a problem. Sorry, Michelle Yo, whom I respect, but all those years of Kung Fu, you know, and all those years of training, yeah, you're not as good as this girl who had no years of training, no years of nothing. And this goes out to all of my Kung Fu darling fans. You see, a lot of dudes weren't angry that this was a female doing anything. After all, these are the same dudes that like Black Widow, Resident Evil, Aliens, female leads. Understand, they just don't like bad characters. But Disney wants to canonize bad characters, and they say we have to accept it. But as fans, you don't have to accept anything. Understand. And so, as we try to make something out of all of this, we have to realize that even at this, towards the end of these movies, these people want to eliminate the idea of true manhood, self-sacrifice, loyalty. And you got to understand what they did to the legacy of this, the, the, these movies, the legacy of the fans, the legacy of someone else's creation. Okay? And one of the things you got to realize is this. That we had a man build a legacy with a battle between light and dark. Is the light always light? Is the dark always as dark as it seems? Um, the, the whole message and everything is things are out of balance. What is going to uh, restore balance? If things were out of balance, then that means the light side user were wrong in their thing, even though they meant well. The dark side users were definitely wrong. And then comes along this boy who is the son of one of the biggest villains, but trained in a different way, has a different heart. Oh, wow. And so the, these men in their struggle for right and wrong educate this boy and this boy becomes a man and in his becoming a man creates this balance that's left. But then this new thing comes along, says, no, this isn't about balance. This is about a new message on society. We're not trying to entertain people. We're trying to force a narrative down somebody's throat. And for the people that don't like that narrative, 
Well, we're going to say that you're all kind of other names and we're going to stop you from speaking. And there, there I say, take away your right to speak, take away your rights to work. Is because when, you know, these groups take over, they really take over worse than governments with dictatorships. So now we understand what would happen if girls actually ruled the world. It would be a dictatorship that would end up going into all out war. Civil wars, world wars, all of that is because people don't like being oppressed. And these girls would probably, and, and, and a lot of these people that's for this agenda are oppressing people intentionally to get their way. And they don't care about the consequences. Even with this movie that they say they wanted to be canon, they did not care about the consequences. Not at all. At the end of the day, what ends up happening is this whole system that tells you that we're going to canonize something that everybody else believes that is that's wrong. Everybody believes that strips away rights of all others, right? And even the right to say something back about the incident. These people say, well, that don't matter. And we'll, we say, well, you know what? It's going to be a confrontation. And the confrontation is that part of it is we'll leave you alone. We'll stop watching you. We'll stop paying attention. Oh, and better yet, we'll stop allowing you to define anything. Because we're going to look into everything and see, oh, wow. You're not the creator of anything. All you do is re uh, just appropriate everything with no reason, just like Ray did in appropriating the name, the speeder, the lightsaber, everything of a Skywalker, even though she's not a Skywalker. Wow, isn't that funny? They spit in people's face all the way to the end. And yet and still, these clowns at Disney tell you that this is canon. And I'm saying, are we going to set, accept the words of clown that have no respect for us as men? To accept something that's canon? Or are we going to say, uh, no, you're through. And um, here's that wall. And for those the rest of you, y'all know what this is. This is no deep policing zone. With that said, I'm out.